Hi, welcome back. So by now you should have registered for your BBC iPlayer app and verified your email. And if you open up the app, it should automatically sign you in if it remembers you. If it hasn't, sign in with your email address and the password that you created for the iPlayer. Remember, it needs to be specifically your iPlayer password and not the password for your email, even though you type in your email address in, um, unless you've put unless you've used in the same password, which um, some of you may well and some of you may well have a different one. So if um, if you do end up with quite a few passwords, it's good practice to maybe just keep them somewhere secure. Um, if you do write them in a notebook, obviously keep it where people won't find it um, if you are going to write them down. So open up the BBC app and it just opens up and on the first page and you can see there's all kinds of programs that you can have a look at. So we've got the first program here, which um, the BBC are promoting as one of their new programs. It's telling us we can tap there to start watching series one and the second one means episode one um, for that particular episode. If it was episode two, it would be series 1.2. That's, that's how it would be laid out. So we'll scroll down a little bit further and I encourage you to do the same. And all of these in the little squares are obviously all programs that they've got. They're not by channel at this stage they're just in categories so we've got featured funny programs popular programs binge worthy documentaries drama comedy and you can see how the list goes on and on there um, if you remember from what i've said before not everything appears on the screen so you can see over at the side here it says view more or the other option is just to put your finger at the edge of the screen and scroll left and you can see more programs appearing there. So that would be one way just to search for programs if you're just looking for inspiration to pop in and see if there's anything that you fancy watching. Um, we've got films right down at the bottom here. So these are all full length films that you can watch as well. So let's go back up to the top and look at other ways of searching for what it is you want to um, watch on here if you've missed a programme. So whenever I'm on a website, I always start by having a look for my search options. So we've got two on here. We've got the magnifying glass, which is a search option, and we've got the menu button over here. So I've no idea at this stage what the menu button's going to show me, but let's tap on and have a look and see what we've got. And again, I always encourage you not to be afraid and just tap to explore. So what have we got on here? Let's have a look around. Well, you can see that we've got the different channels, the main channels here. We've got the radio channels, the children's channels, and then we've also got categories as well. So if you just thinking that you fancy a documentary but not quite sure what, you can tap on any of these categories and have a look. So for example, let's tap on channel one. Um, never miss the start of a live program and that, that's just telling us about recording. So we'll just get rid of that. Sometimes when you're new on an app, it will tell you how to use it like that. So we're into the BBC One page now. We know that it's telling us at the top here and what it's telling us here is on now. So this is uh, Ready Steady Cook. It's half, it started at half past three, I think, and it's on till half past four. So if I was to play that, that's just exactly what's showing on the BBC One channel right now. And I would just click on the play button there to play this program. I will show you in a minute how to play the programs. If we scroll down, again, it's giving us a selection of past BBC One programmes here for us to watch. Um, so usually the most popular ones if you scroll down and you can see them all there, all the different ones. So that's one way of searching. 
Let's go back to the menu again. And again, you can do that for any of those channels there. If you want a documentary, you can just tap on the documentary tab and have a look. And again, scroll down and see if there's anything that you want to watch on that page. So every one of these is an episode and you would tap the picture to watch the program, which I will show you soon. We'll go back to the menu again and we've got a TV guide on there. So that's useful if you want to see what's on television. It's telling, this is a live TV um, guide, today's TV guide, sorry. It's telling us over on the right hand side of Ready Steady Cook there that it's live now. That's what's on now. We scroll down, this is what's coming up later this evening. We can tap on tomorrow, for example, six o'clock, but we can also scroll back up to earlier in the day. And um, it looks like it only goes up to Friday there. Uh, maybe if we cut tap the arrow, no, that would take us to BBC Two. So it only looks like it just goes up to Friday on the iPlayer there. Usually this is because obviously it's past programs. That's, that's what the iPlayer is for. It's showing us programs that have been on live. So that's why you're not really seeing anything ahead. But you can go back to programs that have been on on previous days. So if we tapped on yesterday, for example, um, and scrolled up and down, if there was a program we missed that we wanted to watch yesterday, this is where we're going to find it. So that's handy if you know when the program was on, you can come in here and take a look. Um, I'm not sure how far it goes back. But you can, maybe on the TV guide, it might just be one week. But the other way to find programmes is using the main magnifying button at the top here. That would help you find programmes that were maybe on longer than a week ago. So let's tap on the magnifying glass. Um, and let's have a look. We'll put in the David Attenborough programmes. I know he's got the new, a new one out. You can see I've not typed in all the word there and as it always does, it's, it's guessing what I'm wanting. So we'll just do that and you can press enter, you can press the magnifying glass and um, we'll just get rid of the keyboard and see what it's brought up. So it's searched through the iPlayer for anything to do with David Attenborough over the years. Um, you can see there's a lot of programs on there from what from the um, documentaries that he's done. Frozen Planet, seven episodes. Dynasty, six episodes. Blue Planet, two, eight episodes. His Africa ser series, um, seven episodes. So you can watch them, you know, one after the other without a gap. Um, seven Worlds, One Planet. His interview with... Pa Parkinson, yep. So there's quite a lot on there. And then the last one that's different, if you hit, see this symbol, we can see that's a Radio 1 um, program there, uh, BBC Radio 1. So again, all you would do is click to start a program. So that's an overview of how to find programs on here. So I would encourage you to have a look and have an explore. And in the next video, we're going to look at how to watch a program and then how to download one to watch uh, when you're not on the Internet later.